the other day I was in uh, uh, the coffee shop and I had an epiphany all by myself. And, um, oh, wait a not epiphany, what is it? Cappuccino, I had a cappuccino. <laughs> Double D cup butterscotch cappuccino. Not hot, I said. I said not hot and got not hot. Apparently not. The guy wasn't listening and it was way too hot, so I'm letting it cool off. And while it's cooling off, I have this life changing moment of insight and inspiration, whatever you would call that. And uh, that insight was New Year's resolutions, right? And this is the time of year when a lot of people get New Year's resolutions. And I realize what you're really doing is you're saying, you know, what, how bad you are and what a failure you are. Oh, I'm addicted to this and I'm not good at that. And I need to fix this other thing. Do you see how annoying you are? And really, <laughs> it's selfish because the world doesn't revolve around you. It revolves around people with microphones. So I decided... <laughs> That I don't want, I'm not going to waste my time with something negative where I'm going to need a checkup from the neck up. So this year, I decided I'm not doing petty resolutions for myself, all right? I'm going to come up with resolutions for others. Because... <laughs> the people who need resolutions haven't figured out that they need them. So I, I jotted down... John done some notes. So here are a couple. So like people, people who get offended for other people, you know what I mean? Like there's a group of people here and then somebody says, oh, someone over here says, oh, you can't say that. They're going to get offended, but nobody there got offended, but they got offended for them. Like I was at a Christmas party and they said, don't, don't say Christmas. Not everybody celebrates Christmas and we don't, we don't want to um, single out one group. And I'm like, fine, whatever. And I went to the bar and realized it's impossible to order a black Russian now. You know, excuse me. Can um, I get a former Soviet Republic of African descent on the rocks? Please. So stop being offended for other people, all right? Stupid crybabies, all right? And here's another one. Parents who are too pushy with their kids. Just be patienter with them, all right? I was, I was at a quiet lunch all by myself at Chuck E. Cheese, and then the school bus pulls up, and they start a field trip where they're teaching kids how obesity gets produced. And there's some chaperone parents who are pushing their kids to the front and teaching them how to be rude, and hey, all right, be patient. Not every kid is gonna be an A student or a B student or a C student, or a D student. Do you know what comes after F? G-E-D. <laughs> Anyone here have a G-E-D? No, I'm the only one on that one. Fine, that's just me. I'm the only... Here's one, swears and gamblers. My mom, Pat, has a swear jar, and anytime you swear, you put a nickel in it, and then when it fills up, she takes it down to St. Cyril's Bingo Hall for her church-sponsored gambling. That's what it is, right? <laughs> Bingo comes from the Spanish bingar to shout out enthusiastically while gambling at a church-sponsored event. That's where it comes from. Yo, bingo, tu bingas, estamos bingamos, all right? Bastante, enough, we're done. Speaking of which, uh, whoever invented Spanish, if, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you're here tonight. You gotta, you gotta fix it up a little bit, all right? Here's, here's a, a story, a short story to illustrate a point. I, I had uh, at my car, I got my, I have access to a car. And, <laughs> and like most cars, it has superpower. And this car has a superpower of invisibility. Whenever it's uh, drizzling or rainy or kind of foggy or misty, uh, the car is the exact same color as the road, and I had to drive 200 miles through the fog to get to uh, one of my lectures. And it's, it, I, I didn't want to be invisible, all right? It didn't seem safe. And so I borrowed somebody else's car, which also happens to have a uh, superpower, and that car speaks Spanish. And I didn't know that until like halfway through uh, the GPS only speak Spanish. And I know I know a little Spanish. 
I know la izquierda is, is uh, left. And I know derecho is right. And I know derecha is straight. Or derecha is right. And derecho is straight. It's, it's, see, it's very confusing. There's one letter difference, and it's a 90 degree. Okay? It's like if we rename the points of the compass north, south, east, and I don't know, north. And it just. I don't know where you are, but uh, we need to fix that mas, mas rapido, por favor. Here's another one. Uh, speaking of uh, cars, people who are bad citizens. Stop being bad citizens, okay? I was tooling around in my neighborhood, uh, and my wheels are pretty sweet, right? And then I saw this other car, and it was parked in a spot uh, on a line between two spots, so nobody else could park there. And I stopped pedaling right then. And I said... <laughs> I'm going to citizens arrest this guy, but I don't, I don't like confrontation. And so uh, I wrote a note, a little citizen citation that says, be more considerate of other people who live in the neighborhood. And I put a smiley face on it, and then I nailed it to his front tire. Because... <laughs> I didn't want it to blow away because... A good citizen, and this guy's a bad citizen. He's a, he's a citizen. So, uh, email spammers. All right, I'm so tired of the of the junk email. I remember when email became like popular in in, in the common culture, right? And uh, you would send someone an email, and then you call them and say, "I sent you an electronic." A transmission and they say what you say I sent you an electronic letter and they're like an email yes and so then they go to their computer and they check and then they write back and it was exciting and fun to get an email letter and uh, but now I'm just I'm petrified to turn on my computer because it's nothing but spam and every time I unsubscribe from an email two more take its place it's like I'm battling the Hydra or, or some less cryptic reference that more of you do get. That's the guy from last night. You said that was your last one. So. People at the coffee shop who take my order uh, while they're not listening. Okay, that's just rude. It just. Do one job or the other, all right? I didn't come to overhear half of a lame conversation about your new tattoo, okay? Inky, I came to get a double decaf butterscotch cappuccino. Not hot, all right? So listen up. I didn't. Here's how it works, all right? Good service, I put a dollar in the tip jar. Bad service, I take a dollar from the tip jar. 